Well, we are beyond excited to have Elizabeth Johnston on with us tonight. This podcast host, vlogger, speaker, and mom of 10 speaks the truth of God to her audience while covering heavy yet meaningful topics. Welcome, Elizabeth. Hi, it's so great to be with you all. Thank so you. wonderful to have you join us tonight. I wanted to just dive on in with you. We know that it is not easy to be a believer and be in the public eye. And I was wondering, how has your platform impacted your relationship with others and with God? Oh, wow. Well, I never intended to have a platform. <laughs> I have been a, <laughs> a very happy homeschooling mom for over 20 years and intended that uh, that was uh, my primary focus and uh, just love being a homeschool mom. Mm -hmm. I have 10 children and awesome. um, yeah, thank you so much. And never intended to be a public figure or really speak into these issues in the culture uh, in a public sphere, but um, just got very concerned about my nation, uh, yeah. especially yeah. after we witnessed the whole transgender bathroom directive situation mm -hmm. where we knew that 200 pound men would be sharing locker rooms and shower rooms right. of, of our little daughters that really concerned mm -hmm. me. I did not understand. I did not um, recognize my country anymore. Mm -hmm. And and so I really got off the sidelines and onto the front lines. And, and, and you know, before I knew it, there's a million followers and 100 million video views and just crazy, crazy organic viral stuff going on. Uh, and it told me, it showed me that there really was a hunger for a bold and biblical response to the issues in our, in our culture. Why do you think that it is especially important as women, as mothers? Because, I, I mean, to be honest, until this past election, I haven't been very politically involved. Um, but why do you feel like, especially with this, um, why do you think it's important for women and mothers to really jump in as we are seeing things like the Equality Act coming into play? This is one of the most dangerous pieces of legislation that we have ever seen in America for religious liberty. Mm -hmm. um, definitely as Christians, every Christian, every pastor um, should be very concerned about this and should be calling their senators to make sure that their senators are not supporting the Equality Act. It's not about equality. We all believe in equality. We all love equality and embrace equality. And none of us wants to see anyone be mistreated or bullied. This is not about equality. Mm. This is about silencing Christians. Wow. Well, I'm going to jump real quick into another topic that how can we as average homeschool mom, um, women ministering in our homes, how can we be part of stopping this from going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a great question. Well, first of all, I am in my home right now uh, on, on Outspoken TV. <laughs> and everything that I do almost is, is actually from my home. My entire platform has been built from my home or from my van <laughs> when I used to uh, film videos in my, in my big 15 passenger van. And so truly in this social media age, it has been an absolute game changer. Mm. Uh, when the Lord said to go into all the world and preach the gospel, we actually have the opportunity to do that from our home now, wow. which is incredible. I am a stay at home mom, homeschool mom with a million followers on social wow, media. That's awesome. How does that happen? It's like the Roman road. Uh, what social media has has done for us and so but as far as the pro-life issue i just like to say you can impact uh so many lives and save so many babies there are pregnancy centers pro-life crisis pregnancy centers who need funds who need volunteers who need computer work done from their home who need maybe someone to organize a baby shower in their home for a mom who's chosen life wow. and then there are abortion clinics sprinkled throughout your cities and your states that need a gospel witness or need someone just there praying outside as men and women mm. in most in one of the most broken times in their lives are walking into these clinics and these centers and you can just be there available and say lord use me i'm here i'm making myself available i don't know what to say lord but i know you'll give me the words and as men and women drive in and out mm. you'll have opportunities to talk to them yeah. and you will literally see them choose life for mm. their baby some of them were praying on the way in 
that God would send them a sign on the way in and you will be that sign wow. and they will choose life for their baby. And you can throw these moms baby showers right in the comfort of your home and your children can witness you mm-hmm. being a part of this life-saving ministry. And it will literally rock your kids' worlds. It will change their lives forever. Wow. 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 Well, powerful. Elizabeth, you are raising 10 kids to <laughs> serve the Lord. So what advice could you give other moms Um, to help guide them with their children in this world that is just so against God's word. Live Jesus at your home. Obviously, live an authentic, Christ-centered life. Um, Repent to your children if you Mm -hmm. you wrong them. Mm -hmm. Uh, be, Be real with them. Um, live the life. Don't none of this fake. There's way too much fake Christian stuff. We go to church on Sunday and then we come home and we live a different way. You will every, you will lose every one of your children Mm -hmm. to the world. If if that's the way you're living your life, live an authentic Christian life, um, and protect your children. Be careful. Uh, there is so much obscenity Mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. That's a big one in 2021. That's a big part of parenting actually guys. And having those uh, hard conversations with them about what it's like to flee from immorality Mm -hmm. and um, to take up your cross daily and follow Jesus. 